My fellow citizens, I'm Birmingham Mayor Pierre Boutros, and today is Tuesday, April 7, 2020. As new information becomes available through further guidance and executive orders, it is important that we continue to share and follow this direction in order to combat the spread of this virus. Earlier this week, Governor Whitmer issued Executive Order 2020-36, which provides further clarity to her Stay Home, Stay Safe Directive of March 24th. Effectively, this new directive states individual that test positive for COVID-19 or display one or more principal symptoms of the virus should remain in their home until three days have passed since their symptoms have resolved and seven days have passed since their symptoms first appeared. Further, individual who have had close contact with an individual who tests positive or with an individual who displays one or more of the principal symptoms should remain in their home until either 14 days have passed since the last close contact with the symptomatic individual or the symptomatic individual receives a negative COVID-19 test. Individual who tests positive or display one or more of the principal symptoms or have come in close contact with an individual who tests positive or display one or more of the principal symptoms should only leave their home to the extent absolutely necessary to obtain food, medicine, medical care, or supplies needed to live. If you do need to leave your home under these conditions, you should wear some form of covering your nose and, mo and mouth. As a community, this is where we can help by keeping in remote contact with our friends and neighbors to assess their health and offer assistance and drop off supplies as needed. What we do the coming weeks will directly impact the severity and the duration of this pandemic affecting our state and our community, but only if we comply. We must be smart in our actions as we enter an expected peak period of COVID-19 cases in coming weeks. Earlier today, our state legislature extended the governor's emergency declaration through April 30th, reinforcing our need to remain diligent and responsible in our actions. By complying with the latest state guidance, we can all do our part to stay home, stay safe, and save lives. I thank you.